St. Francis Prep junior Dylan Carroll is tired of sitting on the sidelines. This opportunity being stripped from us is just really sad. Carroll, like every other Catholic high school athlete in Brooklyn and Queens who plays a high-risk sport, is waiting to find out if he'll be able to play this season. I still have my hopes very high, and I, I will train as if there is a season. Last month, the governor announced that high school sports like football, basketball, and hockey could resume if the local governments signed off on it. Director Dominic Volpis says the Catholic High School Athletic Association sent a letter to the mayor and the city Department of Health looking for guidance, but they still haven't heard anything back. What we're after is an answer, simply just answer. Can we or can we not? Uh, participate in high-risk sports. Surrounding areas like Westchester and Long Island resumed basketball practice on February 1st. Normally, those schools would compete against teams from Brooklyn and Queens. So now we have teams chomping at the bit in Westchester, ready to play basketball, you know, right now, ready to go. And there's nobody to play against. We feel that we're not even being heard. We're just looking for, the, for some sort of acknowledgement. Rich Carroll is Dylan's father and the head football coach at St. Francis Prep. Carroll says the CHSAA has already proven they can keep kids healthy on the field. The league has had just one case of COVID-19 among all athletes who participate in low and moderate risk sports this school year. Take a real good look at, at what the pros and the cons are with these young men and these young women and, their, and the, take a real good look at the science and look at our record on the field. Athletic director Sal Fischetti says he's worried about the mental toll the uncertainty is taking on his seniors. If you're taking away their entire senior year of their last sport to play in high school, it's very sad. We reached out to the mayor's office for comment, but they did not immediately respond to our request. But the CHSAA says they'll keep fighting until the clock runs out. Joe Masiri, Pix11 News.